so you're a, you're a medical doctor, doctor and kill. You're also you practice martial arts. So I'm going to say, you know, you're an MMA type of things. Right. Right. So you've explored different martial arts. And I want to say uh, you're I'm going to also label you as an MC because I know you love you love music and, and you're an artist. So uh, what type of other hobbies do you engage with or in that sort of keeps you grounded or you consider fun so again i'm just throwing the music stuff out there because i know you and you're a, you're yeah. a, you're a great you're a great artist you're a great lyricist and all that stuff uh do you want to touch a little bit of of, of that that's really that's like my main go-to is just poetry my rats you know my friend says harder than a realer than rap harder than poetry i mean that's what we do but yeah i, I rap i make music Definitely express a lot of my thoughts through the raps and the poems that I write. Uh, that's a lot of fun for me, freestyling and all that. But I don't know, maybe, even if they don't press play, they still can't play. Because I bring a hood to hood myself, it's all great. Family full of soldiers, Army, Air Force, Navy. But me, I'm God's army of the pure until they grave me. Roots in Punjab, dirty South Jersey raised me. Suburb taught me, but the hood made me. But it's not mine, it's yours, and by yours I mean the Lord. The battlefield is my mind, and your name is the sword. Concentration is the shield, work ethic is the armor. Respect, courage, honor. I come from a lineage of warriors and farmers who work hard every day, especially through the drought. And my enemies, laziness, distractions, and doubt. I definitely train, that's so much fun to me. Training, sparring, any of the warrior activities is just so much fun. Yeah, like all of the different warrior activities, it's just a lot of fun for me. That's really like my most fun and my most hobbies is right there. And then I like learning. I like learning about, I like building and having real conversations like this. It's, I'm at a point now where if it's not a real conversation, I just keep it moving. And, and you know, you get that feeling when you feel like we're not really growing further, then I'm, I'm good at just saying peace, whatever, whoever it is, but no, it be my mom, you know what I mean? Like, you might even, like, you know, I just keep moving and keep growing. And I just try to keep learning. So besides that, go, and then those activities get done, get back to towards uh, improving my craft, so studying. What are the habits of success that you've established for, or, or, or day-to-day habits that establishes the tone for long-term success? 100%, man, keep learning, keep growing. Learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Learn how to be overwhelmed and be, and you know, stay calm, stay poised. What we say in medicine is triage, meaning figure out what's the most important thing and do that first. Uh, and just stay poised under pressure, keep learning, keep growing. Not being scared to fail, not being, you know, you got to face your fears. It's like you got to be, be able to get out of your comfort zone. You got to be able to. Uh, develop routines and habits. That's how the body works. That's how babies work. You know, that's how life works. You gotta be able to have routines. Waking up early is something I'm still working on. As a doctor, we wake up early. One thing doctors do is they wake up early in the morning. You know what I mean? But I want to, you know, my whole life has been a challenge. So I'm kind of, because at one point again, I was up all night, slept all day. That was regular. Now it's like, you know, I, I want to, wake up early in the morning, get to work. You know, I still struggle with that on my one day off. You know, I might sleep a little bit in, but I want to wake up early regardless. Waking up early, getting a routine, and just keep pushing through failures and not being scared to fail. If you have it in your mind that you're not going to quit, then you're going to be successful. That's just the way the world works. That's just the way work and you got to have patience don't look at what everyone else is doing like when I realized I was struggling a lot you see other people winning and this and that and their mind plays tricks and every time the minute my mind started to be like oh this person like man that's them you know what I mean I'm not comparing myself to them I realized I got a different purpose and I'm going to a different place you know what I mean and I'm okay with that like they don't really they don't know what I've been through, what I was going through. They don't know, have a clue. And I don't know what they're going through. So you can't judge other people too because you never know what they're going through. They might be going through something worse than you. They just not talking about it. Usually the people going through the most don't even talk about it, you know? So it's like not comparing myself to others 
realizing that it's not about a time clock and a schedule, but I'm on God's time. 